Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my video this morning. Um, yes, so today's Sunday, so that means it's a uh, uh, card sketch, my weekly card sketch challenge, which this week sure was a challenge. It's not my, um, it wouldn't be something that I would pick, but I challenged myself, so um, I hope you like what I did. I'm still, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll, we'll see what you think about it. But anyway, um, so we're going to do that today. And so I'll just wait a minute, see if anybody pops on. So if you're watching the replay, please say hello. Um, tell me where you're watching from and um, at what time you're watching it. Um, that would be good. Uh, okay, so if you didn't see yesterday's video, I did a walkthrough of the catalogue showing all the um, all the things that are retiring and the, uh, the things that are on sale. So if you haven't seen that, you should. Um, it's on. Uh, it's further down on my um, in my page on Facebook and it's over on YouTube so you can check that out okay there was a lot of stuff <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of stuff retiring but there's lots of good stuff coming too so that's good uh, okay so <clears throat> my throat's a little bit froggy today hi Shirley how are you doing today? Okay, so let me put you down to my desk and we will get started with the sketch. Um, so the sketch is... Uh, no, no. This is a sketch. I'll show it better to you at the on my desk, but um, good. I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, so let me put you down to my desk. That's what I was going to do. So this is a sketch. It just looks a bit messy to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's not my cup of tea, but I did it anyway. Um, that's the whole point of these sketches is to challenge yourself. So that's what I did. Okay. So that's that. I'll just show you a couple of the alternative pumpkin, paper pumpkin cards that I did um, from, uh, well, on Wednesday night, I did uh, the unboxing of this month's paper pumpkin. And then I put it on my blog and then I also made a couple of extra alternative cards. So this is one of them. So I used the half of one of the front of the card bases here. I used a strip of fresh freesia and this basic white is embossed with the basic 3D embossing folders that are in the online online exclusives and then I did a layer of gorgeous grape on some white so that's that one and then the other one I did is this one this is a double z fold card so it opens up like that so I colored the tree with blends like that I put a little couple of little dragonflies on there use one of the card bases for this and part of a part of another card base for this for this and this and then this part here is using the envelope liner and then I then I die cut um, a cloud using the same envelope paper and then this is from the memorable moments memorable moments suburbs thoughtful moments hybrid embossing folder yeah so 
this side show you that. I quite like this one. And then I put a piece of white here to write on. <clears throat> okay, so those are the ones I did for that. Okay, so today I have my monthly card class to go this afternoon, so that'll be fun. I usually do that when on Zoom. Okay, so let's get started with this card. So I'm using Parakeet Party. This is one of the retiring in colors. So I decided to use that today. And I'm also using this stamp set today. Happy little things. This is in the online exclusive. I actually won this as a prize on a team, a team event. So I was happy to get this. I like all these big, you know, big um, sentiments. Okay, let's score this. So this is just a regular size, um, eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. It's a nice sunny day here. It's cold, but it's nice, nice and sunny. It's always nice to see the sun. So this is the card base, and then what am I doing? Yes, I'm using the, what one is this paper? Let me see. This is, uh, oh yeah. Masterfully made paper, which is retiring also. Okay, I'm going to uh, trim this down to two inches. I think that's what I did. Did I do two inches? I also cut a um, piece of vellum. That's retiring. Is it two inches? Yes, yeah, two inches. Okay. And then I think I did it about four inches. Did I have to do four inches? I think it was four inches. Let's just double check that. It's about the same. Four inches and that the vellum I'm going to cut at four inches also. Okay. So these ones I'm going to flag at the bottom. I'm using this punch. It's retired, but I like I like this punch. This is one I won't I won't get rid of. Um, you could easily just cut this at the bottom to make a little uh, flag, but um, I'm going to use my punch just because. Let's put it about oops here. When I do these flags, something always goes wrong, and they're not even. So I decided I would use my punch. Okay. There are certain punches that I I will hold on to, even if they're retired. Um. I like them. <laughs> okay, so that's these parts. What else am I doing? Oh, yes. And then I'm doing a piece of another piece from the same paper. Uh, it's very colourful, don't you think? <laughs> um, yeah. So this piece measures, 
this will all be on my blog. Five inches by three and three quarters. So this one I'm going to put at an angle like that. So let's get my glue. So this is retired. Yeah, I should do that one over there. We'll do it that way. Okay, this way, this way, I think it is. Go at an angle, like that. And then we have a piece of basic white, which measures, um, which measures three and three quarters by five. So this one we're going to go the opposite way. So there's a little piece of that designer series paper peeking through. So let's put that down. Put it to the side so I can see better. Like that. I can't really see that paper very well, but it's just a, a little piece peeking through. I think I should have did it the white piece a bit smaller but oh well it is what it is so that's that and that so then let's go down these pieces this one we'll put like here And then vellum. The vellum I'm going to, let me see, should I? Um, I was going to um, emboss this piece here, should I? Yeah, I'm going to. Hold on one second, I'm just going to run this through my embossing folder. Did I put my other piece? Mm. Oh, here it is. Okay, here I am, back again. So I've used this embossing folder, which is part of the ones, is the basic 3D embossing folder. 
covers up a little bit when it goes through the machine. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go here. Uh, that way or the other way. I think this way is better. So to glue these ones, vellum down these uh, paper pumpkin um, glue dots are great for that. Because if you try and use tape runner or anything like that, it shows through the vellum. But these glue dots do not. Usually I would only do one uh, a couple, but it's uh, when it went through the embossing machine, it kind of went on a like that. So let's just take these pieces off. So I got a new team member yesterday. So if you're watching and uh, I'm so happy you joined my team. Okay, so let's just put this one down a smidge. Like that. I just didn't want, I didn't want to put cardstock here. I just thought it was too much. It was just too much. Whereas the vellum kind of softens it a bit. Okay, that's that and that. And now, what am I doing? Oh, yes. Use some basic white. I'm going to stamp on it. Actually, I'm going to cut it out first. Usually I stamp, then I cut it out, but this time I'm not. I was going to not do my card sketch this week because um, I wasn't crazy about the sketch, but I challenged myself. So I'm going to die cut this with the squares from the Stylish Shapes die. This is the second largest. No, it's not what I wanted to do, is it? I wanted to, no, this is the inside layer. I don't want to use that one. Let's get another piece of basic white for that. Okay. <clears throat> Where would I put my... There it is. I need to put it at an angle. It's going through. Oh, it's so squeaky. Okay, so that's that piece. Okay, so we're going to stamp this with this stamp set. Happy little things. Okay, let's do this one. I'm going to do love. And I'm going to stamp that with Berry Burst.
love. Just make sure I don't have any ink on me. For some reason with the red inks, I get it all on me and then I end up messing up my card. So it seems to be okay. And then Parakeet Party. For love and then you. Close this and then, and then I cut um, another layer uh, using the same paper, but this time I'm using this this side of the paper to uh, to mat it on like that. So let's do that. Okay. And that's going to go on about here. But before I do that, I'm going to wrap some. I can't decide do I want to use silver or the linen thread. Um, let me see how this silver goes. I'll try it with the silver and see if I like it. So I'm just going to do a little bow here. That's too big. Try that again. No, actually, let's wrap it around first. So I've decided if I want it or not. Silver or not. I'm going to do silver. I'll show you the other one I did before. Let's do this double bow here. And this is harder to get tight. Oops. It just won't stay in the bowl. <laughs> Keeps coming undone. Okay. Let's put a glue dot at the back of this. Where am I putting it at the bottom? Put this about here, just to hold it in place. Okay. Oh, 
do that at the back. Like that. And then we'll put the little bow on here. Like so. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and another glue dot. Glue dot on here. And then that will go on here. Like that. Might trim these down a bit more once I put them on. Um, dimensionals. to hold it in place. So, let's put this about here, I think. So it's a little bit more like that, and then I don't know if you can see like that, whether I like it or not, but it is what it is. Okay, and then I'm going to color a couple of these little pearls. with the uh, berry burst and a couple of little ones leave this to dry for a second and then we'll do the inside So for the inside, I'm just going to layer this on here. You know we have to do the inside. So this is the one I did with the, the linen thread. Okay, okay. So, oops. Put this on here. Oops. And then we'll glue this on. not going to put anything I'm just gonna leave it blank for right now oh hi Jane yeah I think the silver is better so let's put the bling on now that we've got that done one here and then a little one here and then a little one up here Okay, so that's my version of the card sketch. Um, yeah, it wasn't my, it wasn't my favourite layout, to be sure. <laughs> so um, let me just show you the card sketch again. I put 
printed out very big. <laughs> so that's the card sketch. And then this is the one I did. What do you think? Actually, I quite like it. Now that I, now that I'm done. So this is this one, and then this is the one I did earlier with the other, with the linen thread. Yeah, I think silver is better. I would have liked it if I had any in another colour, but the silver is good. So, that's my card for today. I really like this stamp set. I mean, um, I could have uh, did the two steps, to, but I, I like the, the way this is, like this. Um, you could colour it, you know what I mean, like put one layer, one colour, and then another, another colour for the two-step stamping. And it's got a lot, it's a peaceful season, so it's good for Christmas, a speedy recovery, the best day ever, the little thing, happiness, comfort and strength. You are incredible and you did it. I like this. Okay, let me just change the screen here. So I hope you liked today's card sketch. Um, it was a challenge. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, I will. I hope you all have a great day. It's a nice sunny day today. Uh, I'll be having my card class this afternoon, and so that will be fun. Uh, today we're using the filled with happiness stamp set for our card class today. So, um, what else was I going to say? So don't forget if you need anything, any of the colours, you should get them now. Because <laughs> those will sell out really fast. Um, those usually go the quickest. So, um, I will see the ladies this afternoon, Jane. See you later, and um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday night when I'll be here at seven o'clock. Um, and I will hope you all have a great week. Okay, okay, bye.